How is it going to all my fellow gamers out there? It is your host, Epic Potato Chip, and welcome to a super duper extra awesome special edition of Mario Maker. I'm not just going to play Mario Maker, guys. Not just that. What we're going to do is, this is what it's called a Mario Maker expose. What we're going to do is we're going to take one creator in the Mario Maker community who's a little less well known than, I don't know, people like Panga. Um, and we're gonna take them and we're gonna check out their levels, analyze their levels, look at their levels, and see what's super dope about what they created. Let's get right into it, guys. Our first expose victim is a creator called Moon, or as a lot of you guys know him as Doodle King. Doodle King's a pretty cool guy, or Moon's a pretty cool guy. You know, he likes to hang out on live streams, he makes super awesome levels. Let's check out his first level, or the first level that I found by Moon is a level called Directional Puzzle. Now look at this. This might be a, this might look a little insane, and, and 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 to be fair, Moon, you are insane for making this. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, you just gotta find the right way to go. It's super easy until you get stuck, like I did twice. Thanks, Doodle. So it's a pretty cool level. He has a couple other puzzle puzzly levels like this, but this one's pretty dope. Especially when we get that Yata baby. That level can be a lot harder, but thankfully, it's not that bad. The next level is Automatic Mario, Dance of the Boo. Now, I love automatic levels. I love levels that let you just sit there and... Doodle, your level's broken. And let you just sit there and... Doodle, your level's very broken. Okay, so as I was saying, they just let you sit there and just automatically do the look. Okay, that one was kind of my fault. This is called Automatic Mario, right? Like, this is something I don't do anything for, right? I'm just making sure. Okay, I think we got it now. But yeah, no, I love automatic levels like this. It, it takes so much time, and it's something I cannot do. So, like, the fact that Doodle did it is amazing. And all you creators that make auto levels like this, also amazing. Like, they... A lot of people say they're boring, but it, they're they're interesting. But I like it, it and especially like it shows the contrast between the levels that someone makes. So yeah, ta, I like it. The next level, though, and this goes under the category of puzzle levels, is called Glitch Me This. Now I don't really do glitch levels. Let's just say that I don't do glitch levels, but Doodle has one, so that's good. Good for you, buddy. Can I beat it? Hell no. Mario Pong. Honestly, honestly one of the best levels I've ever played. I don't know if it's a redo of another version of Pong by somebody else, or if it's Doodle's own creation. I really think this is a fun level. I mean, it takes me back, man. Playing Pong, super fun game, until you lose. Then that sucks. But it's an easy level. Doodle's levels go from easy to weird, to dumb, to hard, real quick. He has a few levels like this. He has like a one piece opening where there's beautiful music playing and you'd think it would be an auto scroller or you'd think it'd be just a run right. But no, if you die, if you fuck up, you have to start all over. You ruin the song. Like I am almost dying, but my determined, it's not like super hard, but there's a way to lose. So those are the fun levels like that. Any any auto music level that makes you not be auto music, like it's an auto music level, but at the same time makes you actually work for it, beautiful. Good job on that one, I think. More puzzles. Puzzle with me, Spring and Pals. Now this one, I actually really, really enjoyed this one. Because Moon or Doodle, as I usually refer to him as, really, really enjoys his puzzles. He's got some really fun puzzle levels, especially they don't give you any information of what to do. So it did take me a couple minutes to figure out that you could do what you could do. Like, I didn't know that pal could throw you right in between this circle thing and kill you. Lessons learned. But then I was like, wait, what about this spring? And I was like, wait, that spring goes there. And then I'm like, damn, I'm smart. And I'm not smart, and then I die. But the best thing is, after countless, countless 
countless, oh my god, countless, many tries, I do finally get it. It looks easy. Okay, I'm like, alright, I won. But, you know, my curiosity was like, what's in here? Completely ignoring these four ways. Like an idiot. And I was like, wait, what's it? I am trapped. But I did beat the level. Another puzzler that Moon or Doodle likes to create, or that created, was Puzzle Me with Hidden Blocks. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a good 20 minutes to figure out that I'm an idiot. And and those are the levels I like too that make you feel so stupid. I mean, how was I supposed to know these hidden blocks were gonna screw me over this much? It took me like forever. Oh. My. God. I figured it out. It's something to do with the spring and this pow and getting up there without activating a hitting block. Could I do it? No. This is what kept happening. Every time. Every time. So I unfortunately did not beat that level, but it's cool. Another one. Puzzle me this V. I didn't understand the title, but I was like, alright, let's do this. It's super easy, though. Like, so Doodle likes to have puzzles, but Doodle also likes to have glitches. He, he makes his his puzzles interesting for people who don't know how about glitches. It's almost like a glitch training course, which is great. Like with this Yoshi, right? There'd be no way to get through here with that Yoshi. You'd lose Yoshi, you'd die. It'd be unhappy times for all. But no, when you do this, that's learning, guys. That is learning. <laughs> I mean, who knew Yoshi could just poop out POW blocks and just eat them and move him to the right? And that's essentially what's going on. And how does this work? I don't even know. But thank you, Doodle, for a beautiful level. <laughs> okay, so New King of the Wall Jumps was a level. New King of the Wall Jumps was a very interesting level. Because you look at this here, right? What in the actual... What do you want me to do here, man? So what you're supposed to do here is not go up here, by the way. It equals death. Or a big waste of time. It equals a big waste of time. So with some fancy maneuvering, <coughs> i.e. downloading it, I was able to actually beat the stage. But I mean, look at all this. Look at all this work you have to do. This pinpoint jumps. This random dev star that means absolutely nothing. To get into this area. But you know what? We cheated and got it. You know what? Whatever. We, we got it. Screw you, Doodle. Your level's hard. You thought that one was difficult? Try 10 second triple jump speedrun. If you want difficult, that one's difficult. You got one clear. Only one person beat this. I want to be the very next person to beat it. I have to be the next person to beat it, and I have to get world record speed. I have to be the best on this level. I have made it a personal goal. So after many, 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 I can't even count how many attempts. I've at least put at least 300 Mario's into this death chamber. I still haven't beat it. But it's really fun. I mean, the jumps are tight. Uh, it's enjoyable. It makes you feel like you can do it halfway through before it dashes your dreams on a stupid spike jump. But it's good. I enjoy it, and one day I will beat it, so I applaud this level, Doodle. It's probably your best th in my opinion. Puzzle Me series continues with Puzzle Me with Boots. Again, I say, he likes to do little puzzles, which are really cool. Like, this level taught me that you can pound with air and make other things happen. I did not know that. Now I have beaten this level before, but for some reason I did get stumped again. Maybe it was the air in my brain. Maybe it was the stupid in my brain. It could be a multitude of things, but it's fun because you use boots, you blow air up mushrooms, you blow air up springs. Like this is a super cool for uh 
super cool level to play. I really enjoyed it. Go play it! And with the, with the Mario Maker community, you're also going to have the streamers who play the Mario Maker community's levels, which, you know, it's beautiful little symbiosis we have here, guys. You guys make the levels, we play the levels, we, enter, we get entertained by them, and you guys get to see your levels played out by other people, and, you know, other people get to see your levels too, which is really cool. So, you got nice caves for Blue Ferran, and if you don't know who Blue Ferran is... Why? Don't you know who Blue Friend is? His link will be in the description. He's also a streamer on YouTube. He's a super cool dude, really chill. Anyway, go check him out, but back to Doodle. Um, so then Doodle started making levels, you know, for, for other streamers. Like, he's made one for me as well, and we'll get into it. Alright, so let's start you off right. Right in the middle of a spring jump. Or a jump into munchers, but it's not that hard of a level, you just gotta get your timing on this. You gotta make sure you grab the keys, because if you don't grab the keys, you're gonna have a bad time. That's just the truth. Or if you miss your jump. Believe me, it took me a little while to beat this level. Oh, and I got stuck here like a bunch. But that's because the springs are there to mess your life up. But when you finally, when you finally have three seconds left, three seconds left on your run, and you finally get that key, and you go in that warp pipe, and you go in that door, and you freak out, and then you win. That's good level design right there. Level that gives you anxiety, and then rewards you. And that's why this is a fun level. I promise, if you want to talk about fun levels that Moon has done, the Captain Toad levels that he makes, so beautiful, so amazing. You're not allowed to jump. Because, you know, in Captain Toad, you can't jump. That's just uh, a thing in the game you can't do. So, you're not allowed to jump or you will get LOL rocked by hidden blocks. So, this entire journey that Captain Toad does, and later, Captain Toadette, I think that's her name. You just have to get all these star coins while avoid jumping and avoid all these perilous situations when you need to jump. So, it's really fun. And whenever you get to the end, it rewards you with green mushrooms. Nothing's better than a shroom menu in the end. Another one of the puzzle levels is Puzzle Me With Green Boots. Now, this is again, another thing I didn't know that I'm so happy that Doodle, or Moon, showed me that you could spring jump on bricks with cannons and they'll actually reverse and go the other way around. Which is a really cool thing. I didn't know you could do all these things with boots. I wish I did. It does take a little while to get used to it, though. <laughs> but when you finally get it, when you're like, Oh yeah, I can down that beetle. It's very rewarding. The next one was Puzzle Me With Hidden Blocks 2. Now I know what you're thinking. EPC, you couldn't beat the last one. What makes you think you can beat this? Stop right there. Stop right there. I can beat this one. This one's actually easy. All you have to do... All I had to do was, you see, there's there's hidden blocks all over this area, right? <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to blow up this bomb, but then you have this nice little pathway, you hit the POW switch, and then you avoid the ghosts, because, you know, ghosts will just RIP you. This was like the hardest part of the level, but it was, it was great. You just got your timing on, and bam, you in there, baby. Directional wall jumps. Let me just let me just say one thing about directional wall jumps. They suck. And I really appreciate you making this level so I can practice. Because damn it's hard. Might have taken some fancy uh cheating, but I got in there. But it's super difficult, man, and that's the greatest thing is Doodle gives you such a learning curve. He's just like, okay, so this is what you're gonna be taught how to do today. And this is how you're not going to do it. Like, this part especially was rough. You ride down the platforms, right? Which is cool. I mean, it's not that hard to dodge those spikes. But then you're like, oh, great. Now i got to jump all the way back up there. And then you die. And then guess where you got to start? All the way from the beginning. So it's a good practice. And it's really rewarding whenever you do it, even though you cheated like I do. And then there's Springs Are Evil for EPZ, which is me. I'm EPC. Doodle made me a level. Doodle's very nice. 
he made me a level where I get to die, 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 and get laughed at, which is super great. It's like when I stream Mario. I die and get laughed at a lot. But it was a super fun level, you know, a little trolly, but I enjoyed it. Definitely way more well built, well built than anything I could ever do. Cool guys. What do you think of Doodle's expose? I think Doodle is great. Give him some love. If you guys don't know who Doodle King is, or Moon, as his Mario Maker title is, you can check any of the codes in the video and that'll get you right to one of his levels, guys. And then you can totally friend him and follow him and he makes some dope ass levels. If you guys have any suggestions on who I should do an expose next, I have a couple of people in mind. But if you want to see your levels get a little expose by EPC, leave a little comment in the description below. Give me a code to one of your levels and I'll go check your out. I'll go check yourself out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time and I'm out.